What's the time for alpha prime prime? Uh, e d mean, right? So I can't just tank on all day long, right? Come on, grab your rib. It's hard to just turn, right? Especially if I have what? More than one person. Come on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, hang on. Right? At some point, eating you would be nice. Eating me, just going back through. Right? Like the prow of a boat. Yeah? So not this. Not this. Right? Or this. <laughs> so eating me is a good and who hasn't who hasn't practiced that before? Eating me. So that is maybe the missing thing that we didn't work on. We worked on Wukinagashi, which happens when you have one and the other. Kankan Wukinagashi. Right? So, with those three, you can keep somebody's hands off you, which is the idea of this exercise. If I go here, it's too late, right? And so, how do I do this? I'm going to touch my face slow, you touch your face fast. Ready? Go. Okay, he beat me. <laughs> Go. He beat me again. Go. He's faster than me every single time. <laughs> He'll be able to beat if I go slow as an attacker. And he speeds up. He can always deflect it somehow, right? But what he needs to practice is, is uh, having the same, uh, the same amount of of energy as I have. The same speed as I'm giving him, he needs to move that speed. And he needs to control my hands from way out here. As he's doing with his feet, okay, I got you there. Too often what happens is as he's going slow, think, right? Go slow. So it's much easier, right? To go fast. But if he speeds up to his full speed, there's no way I can go above that. There's no way I can go full speed and a half. So in this practice, slow it down, control the hands, mesh the speed, practice those three techniques. Easy knee, hang carry, come on. Easy knee, okay, now gosh. Easy knee, hang Easy knee, hang Ukenagashi, Ukenagashi. Everybody goes to the speed, okay? So we partner, quick. So that I don't get stuck on the tip, right? So I don't get stuck here. I can control the outside of this hand, direct it to the outside of this deflection angle, and then let him go down that angle. That's what I want to do. Okay, so did everyone see the difference here? What was he doing? More up. Okay, he was moving a little bit, and also this ducking here, right? Um, if you don't feel, come on, see that I'm back of my hands red. <laughs> you should feel that getting rubbed up here. And also, um, he's doing the movie style uh, <laughs> eating, right? This, right? So from right here, I want to work on just this, okay? Just taking that center line away. How daunting would it be to face somebody with a freaking sword? Um, but the sword angles are no different than this, and we are freaked out by just being grabbed on the shoulders. This is even worse. This is worse. But you did it right. <laughs> 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 
spirit. You come up and it's, it's a worse feeling to have somebody come down on top of your head. And that inflection plane has to be there. If you tilt this this way, you're going to get contact at all these points right here. So really, the, the best thing that you can do is wherever the attack is coming from, is to meet the attack and then let the attack come right by. Cool. That's perfect world, right? The problem is, is that he's got, he's got an attack from here, right? Which came low, who came low? You came low. Attack from up here, attack from out here, right? So this changes all my angles. And so what I'm gonna have to do is see where the attack is coming from and then deal with that angle alone. That's what this is about. Now we're only dealing with one angle. They're coming right here, and you know where they're gonna be at one time, right? So keep these up and just let them slide by. Okay, let's go. So it can't feel like this, right? And it can't feel like, it can't feel like that. It has to feel just, right? Like not really much is going on, right? And the only way you do that is to match that angle almost exactly. And that's really the difficult part because you're, you're really, really dancing on that wire, right? It's a fine line. Just like that sword cut. You missed by a little bit, <coughs> you don't really care, right? It's all done. <laughs> but that's that's that that thing that you can practice in here with uh, Shomenuchi or something like that. Where and, and then let's practice it, Bob. Uh, Shomen, he's gonna come straight down, bow right here, and he's gonna cut all the way through. Just like a sword, like a heavy-handed cut. Now the less I or the greater angle I have. The lesser angle, I guess, depending on which side you're talking about. Um, the greater uh, surface he has to hit, the more I'm going to feel this. Okay, I felt a little bit there. I felt a lot more there. So each time I move further this way, it's a greater impact. So I'm going to take center. Wherever that, wherever that strike is initiated, right here, right. And, and that's what I was thinking of when we were passing the swords, right? Is, right? That's an angle. That's a good angle. Shaman? That's a good angle. Shaman? That's a good angle. Right? I'm, I'm changing different parts of the block, but the angle is the same. Right? That was a little risky, but... <laughs> but if I could change his angle up top really slowly, if I can meet this angle and change it ever so slightly, <laughs> that's the idea, is if I don't change it, I'm screwed, right? But I did, I got to change it that time. So he comes here, right? So even just that slight amount, you can change the angle. Now I'm not advocating doing this kind of a block. What I'm saying is all you have to do is match this angle. His strike, his strike comes down, match the angle. And he helps you by cutting all the way through. Okay? Okay, so let's try eating me from the cup. Goes off. Thank you. Right? I just did good eating me, right? He didn't get his hands on me. Ready? <laughs> so that's, I think, what we're going to start feeling a little bit if you try and duck it. So the, the idea behind this, the eating me, is an angle. Here's his attack angle, right? So where it starts, stop. Where it starts, where it's going to end up. Here. So that line, right there, that's my angle. So that's the angle I have to control. If that's the angle, I cross that angle, boom, I'm still going to get contacted, which is what happens when we duck, or when we do this. Right? That's not using any of my deflection plan. What I want, my deflection plan, is I want this. I want it at the origin of the attack, here, and I want it to direct it, the attack away from me. But it slides all the way up my arm. It comes low, it comes high from in. Right? So, wherever the attack comes from, I'm going to meet that and let this deflection angle do its work. It doesn't help to duck it. It doesn't help. So, by controlling, I want to control his hands, I want to control that angle. Right? Tankon is just controlling his hand by. So I'm letting that ink, or that's uh, the path of his attack right by me. If I turn, that's okay. If I don't turn, I can stay forward, but I have to control that hand. This is not good enough. Okay? 
So when we're practicing Tyson Rocky, it's very, very simple. It's not very dangerous because we're going slow. Uh, the worst is going to do is whatever. Um, but we can practice it in a way that's going to help us acclimate to, to the next step, which is doing it faster. 